This year, Chris Sean Rock has had a good number of legal troubles. Nonetheless, her supporters recently received encouraging news. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. At one of Blueface's court appearances in June of this year, she was taken into custody. She was later sentenced to 30 days in a California jail after it was stated that she had an outstanding warrant for an alleged assault with a deadly weapon. She was then extradited to Oklahoma, where she is accused with having controlled dangerous substance and marijuana with intent to distribute. It was disclosed earlier this month that she might serve up to eight years in prison for her alleged offenses. Her followers were devastated, as one could anticipate, especially for the sake of her young kid. But according to Natalie Nunn, her co-star in Baddies, she might be leaving much sooner than most people thought. Nunn asserted in a recent Instagram Live that Chris Sean will hit theaters on September 9th. Sean is set to be released on September 9th. Given that this is only a few days away, this is undoubtedly excellent news for the controversial personality. Fans will have to wait and watch what actually transpires in her case as this date is not yet finalized. In any case, compared to what they've previously heard, this news is far more optimistic. Blueface recently broke his silence on a number of significant issues and provided his supporters his first update from behind bars. First of all, he informed his supporters of the precise time he believes he will complete his sentence, and it appears that it may be much sooner than some people had thought. So I got sentenced to four years, the California rapper during an exclusive phone interview with DJ Head and Gina views on the effect of Immediately program. I got a year's credit, so that goes down to three years, and I gotta do 33% of that so I'll be home probably like March, April 2025. Blueface disclosed his and Chris Sean Rock's positions elsewhere. When asked if they will make a third season of their reality TV show, Crazy in Love, he said, I don't know, that's a tough one. Me and Rock, we vibing right now, but you know. When that fitness get involved, you know it might get a little weary. As far as their relationship, Blue says that they stay on a three-way, are still in contact, and that Rock whose drug case still lacks a verdict or punishment will shortly be released from prison. But he also disclosed that because of their respective legal circumstances, he hasn't been able to stay up with his son Chris Sean Jr. In addition, Blueface detailed a typical day in jail for him. I'd be jacking off, watching TV, eating Doritos and using the phone. He said in lewd fashion. That's pretty much it they only got like 12 channels. I've been watching a lot of the news, the Sherry show and the Jennifer Hudson show. I'm chilling, man. I'm in my environment. It's like a little break from responsibility. I'm like 180 pounds right now. I've never been 180 before. I'm getting sized up. I'm about to bounce out looking like a Dalmatian. It's really tragic that Blueface's father, Jonathan Porter Sr., updated his admirers on social media earlier today. He wrote, Free Blue Free Chris Sean, as the description for a video that showed the young kid. Got a chance to speak with Junior. The other day he miss his mom, dad, and grandpa. Y'all are going to very surprised with his progression that he has made when he pops back on the scene. Hopefully, Chris Sean Jr.'s mother's lawsuit proceeds smoothly. This would imply that he would soon enough have one or more parents by his side. Porter Senior's post comes soon after Blueface used a phone call from prison to tease new music on his Instagram story. There isn't currently an official release date for that. It's no secret that Safari and his former partner Erica Mina haven't always got along. But she's recently faced criticism for remarks she made on his most recent motivational speech. The rapper said on social media earlier this week that giving back is his new mission in life. I want to start giving back more, and uh, I don't why lately. This trip is just making me see things different I have to do it. So if you're somebody who know me, link me up if you want to help in any way. He explained. At the end of this month, I'm going to be doing a give back, back to school, back to life, everything and anything possible that I could think of. That they he continued by saying later this month, a community treat give back will be conducted by his organization. And here I am feeling guilty because I wasn't there due to work. Mina called him out on Instagram shortly after, saying that he only seemed to care about other people's kids and not their own. And while I'm feeling guilty, mother is out here trying to make the world believe that they actually have a charity. She also mentioned that although he usually misses significant occasions in their children's lives, she has been feeling bad about missing their daughter's first day of preschool. How can you care about anybody else's children when you don't even care about your own? Mina said. Social media users have responded to Mina's comments in a variety of ways, but most of them concur that her tirade was pointless. Others counter that Safari might not have any problems with their children and that their relationship stress is keeping him from becoming more involved. He care about the kids you just don't care about you, one Instagram commenter claims. Just call a lawyer, another insists. In the end, their romance was featured on programs like Love and Hip Hop. After all, this isn't necessarily a good combination for a partnership. But there's no denying that these two will fight frequently and in public on social media. These arguments can occasionally be a little one-sided, with one person expressing their sentiments. I was with Nikki. We broke up. Her fans and certain people, they just wanted it to be like, okay, they're not together no more. Safari recently discussed his scandalous relationship with Nikki Minaj in an interview. He mentioned in the interview that the years after their split were difficult. 
Kim, let him be nothing, let him disintegrate, let him disappear. It was generally a dismal moment, and some people didn't want to be around him. Mina doesn't appear to feel sorry for her ex, either. She even unleashed some venom on Safari on Instagram. She basically thinks his actions are shameful. It was like nobody wanted to be next to me. Nobody wanted to work with me or none of that. I will forever be embarrassed that I gave sis these incredible beautiful babies, Mina wrote. He don't even talk or care about his seeds this much online or in real life. Mina then doubled back in the comments section over at the shade room with more commentary. Hopefully sis can end his deadbeat struggle next, she wrote. If one thing is for certain, it is that there is no love lost between these two.